Hello and welcome to Resources and Activities. In this lesson we're going to learn how to add resources and activities to your course. To add resources and activities you need to be able to access the pull down menus and to do that you come up here and turn editing on. And once editing is on now you have your pull down menus add a resource and add activity and you'll see that there is one or set of these in every single module in your course. Since I have chosen topics, I have one, two, three topics going, and so for every topic I have add a resource and add an activity. What I've got on this particular course is I've got a web page that I created, the course syllabus which is actually a book, and a news forum down here, workspace overview, objectives, reading preparation, view the online learning resources and complete the activities. These are all labels. And I've got one, two websites and another web page that I created. So what's the difference between resources and activities? Resources are things for the students to view. These are not things that they're going to interact with. So you can add a book, a label, lightbox gallery, text page, web page, link to a file, display a directory. This is uh, if you have presenter on your computer and you can create a presenter presentation in a PowerPoint. These three things, don't worry about those. <laughs> also, I'd like to point out that I am in the development web page, website, and so you may not see all the same things in add a resource or add an activity. So I'm not going to go over all of them, just the ones that are the most common. In add a resource, the ones that are most common are insert a label, can compose a text or a web page, and link to a file or a website. So I want to add another label like this. So I go to here to add a resource, insert a label, and you just put in the label text. Hello, I am a label. And that's all there is to it. Save and return to course. And when you do, this will happen every time. It defaults to the bottom of the module. It will always default to the bottom of the module. So if you wanted to move it up or down, you would select this move. So you first this is important you need to figure out where you want it to go because the label or whatever it is that you're going to move is going to disappear and so I want this way up to the top above objectives so I'm going to click on that move see you can't see it anymore but I want it above objectives so I'm going to put it in there boom and now it's at the top if I wanted to indent it in see how these are indented in I would just press this move right if I wanted to move it left again, I just click on there. We've already seen move up and down. This is update. This is your edit. So you click on that if you wanted to. Maybe I wanted to make it bold. So I come down here and I select it and I can make it bold. A word about copying and pasting. If you copy and paste something into the label text, it will bring with it all of its formatting and if you want to change the formatting you have to go into the HTML source see here we have these HTML otherwise you won't be able to change the formatting only through HTML I come down here and save and return to course and now it's bolded if I wanted to get rid of it I would click the delete button if I wanted to hide it I would click the little eyeball. That means it will not be visible to the students. So I click the eyeball and I can see it because I'm the teacher. But if I were to go into student mode, go up here, switch role to student. Now it's gone. I can't see it because it's hidden. If I return to my normal role, now it's back turn editing on 
and now I can delete it. I click on here, delete, and it's going to ask me if I'm sure I want to delete the label. Yes. And now it's gone. For labels, all they are is just for reading. You can't click on them, can't do anything. All it is is just, well, a label. If you wanted to add other resources that are interactive, then you would click the Add a Resource and you can add either a text page or a web page. The difference between the two is editing capabilities. When you compose a text page, you have editing capabilities in the summary, but not in the actual text page. So there's really not a whole lot you can do about that. Here's something else that you would want to make sure whenever you add something, you would want it to open up in a new window, so that way the students won't have to do their back button. But I'm not going to create a text page. I much prefer web pages. This one's a web page because when you add a web page it's you've got more options. You put the name in and here's a summary but you see when you do the full text you have all these features that you don't have in a text page. And again you're going to want to make sure that it's a new window so it'll pop up in its own window. Then you save and return to course but I'm going to cancel. Then the final one I'm going to show you here is link to a file or a website. Again you give it a name, give it a summary, just a brief little summary and then you can either search for a web page or you can choose or upload a file so anything, a PDF, a Word document, a PowerPoint presentation, anything that you want that's on your hard drive you can upload it. You can also put in a web page address. Again, you want it to be new window. All these other things, advanced features, don't worry about it. And then you save and return to course. I'll demonstrate here with the panels and course blocks video. This is add a link. Let's link to a file or website. That's what that is. I'm going to update it so you can see what I did. When you give it the name, that's what's going to appear on the main page. In a summary, give it a summary, and then see is just the URL to the, the video. New window, save and return to course. Just like the labels, anything you add will automatically default to the, the bottom of the unit, so you'd have to move it up. So those are resources. Activities is something else. And again, you may not see all of these because I'm in a different in a different mode here. Let's come in so you can see that. There. You have add an activity, you have forums, assessments, assignments, attendance certificate, chat, all these and and I would just recommend go through them and click on each one and play around with it and see what they do. The ones that are used the most are upload a single file. This is an assignment. Upload a single file. So you have a student you have an assignment for your students where they're supposed to st turn in a, a Word document or Excel spreadsheet or something like that. So you would do upload a single file. You would give the assignment a name and a summary or a description. Here's where you would select how many points this assignment is worth or if you don't want to do that you just give it a no grade. I'm going to say 100. You can give an availability dates or you can just go ahead and disable them that way they're, they're available all the time. You can allow for resubmitting. You can have an email alert to you once the once a student submits something and you can have module settings, that sort of thing. And I'm going to go ahead and put something in here. Uh, uh, sample assignment. And this is where you would give the description and instructions to the student. Turn in your paper here. You would want to give it a more detailed description so that the students will know exactly what is expected of them. Yes, it's got a grade. No, no, okay. Save and return to course. Now when I look down at the bottom of this unit, 
Then we've got a sample assignment. When I click on it, here's the instructions and here's the upload a file. So the student would go and browse for the file and upload the file. One of the things that happens when you do this too in, within Moodle is that it adds that assignment to the gradebook automatically. So we don't want the sample assignment. I'm going to go ahead and delete it. Yes, I want to delete it. So with these activities, quiz is another one that is automatically graded and goes into the gradebook. So you just take a look at all these different things, interactive activities that the students can do and you just add them just like the other ones. So to summarize, resources are just things for the students to click on and read and look. You can add all kinds of resources. Activities are ones where the students are actually going to be uh, submitting things and doing things and inter using Moodle as the means to interact with the students, for example, during chat and forum. Difference between chat and forum, chat is live interaction and forums, discussion forums, though that's called an asynchronous learning environment where the students can post at any given time. So there you have it, resources and activities.